lifestyle things that I am loving. I have a variety, so stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. In today's video, I want to talk about some lifestyle favorites, things that I'm really loving, and maybe some of these will work for you. I have a mixture of things, uh, two makeup items, a pair of boots, some gardening things, just odds and ends. So let's get started. The first thing I will talk about are diffusers, and in particular, an essential oil that I'm using in my diffusers. I have, I think, three diffusers in my house, and I, I actually love diffusers, even better than candles. Well, I heard about this product here from some channel, now, I don't know what channel I heard about it from. It could have been L from L is for Living because anytime I find something I really love, I learn about it on her channel. But anyhow, it is from Gaia Labs. And it is Vanilla Oleoresin. I can't say it. O-L-E-O-R-E-S-I-N, essential oil. It has vanilla oil in it and planiforia oil. I love the scent of this. You know, a lot of those essential oils are very strong, like whatever scent you like, lavender, bergamot, ylang-ylang, whatever. This is so soft, you can smell the vanilla, but it also has a little bit of a floral scent. It's just a calming scent to me, and it makes my house smell so good. I did get it from Amazon. Most of these products came from Amazon, so I will link them below if you want to check them out. And let me know if you use diffusers in your home, and if you have a particular essential oil, the scent that you really love. Because I like to try different ones, but I am hooked on this. This is my second bottle that I just got. Another lifestyle product that I am loving are these sunglasses. They are mirrored and they are pink. And the, so are the stems, sort of a, a clear pink. Now, these glasses are the kind that fit over your regular glasses. I have a couple pair. I've shown some on my channel before. These are the biggest pair that I have. But they do such a great job fitting over your regular glasses. So, I'll show you. Oh, I just love them. I love that mirrored look. I'll get a little closer and I'll show you the side. See, it completely covers up the stems of your real glasses. You can't see underneath the frame of your regular glasses, and they're just perfect because I can't see with just regular sunglasses. I have to have my glasses, and I do have one pair of prescription sunglasses that I got maybe four or five years ago, and my prescription, of course, had changed, so I can't see real good out of them, but they're expensive. I mean, it's like buying regular glasses. You end up spending four or five hundred dollars for a pair of prescription glasses when you have bifocals like I do, so these kind are just perfect. They're so stylish. They have these come in a variety of colors and they have different styles and some of them have like little um, embellishments here or little gems and things. 
I just love them. I have two makeup items that I want to share with you. Now, those of you that watch me regularly know that I'm not a big makeup fan, but I love blush. And I like to try different blushes. I like the creams and the liquids because they show less texture. Well, this is the e.l.f. Camo Blush. And I think it just came out this year, I think. Isn't it just such a pretty shade of pink? So summery and fresh. Of course, even with my glasses and my bifocals, I cannot read the name on the bottom, but I will put it in the description box. Now, the thing about these, at least in my opinion, they are extremely pigmented, and you only need a dot, and they dry pretty quickly. So, I just put a dot like that, if you can see that, on the back of my hand, then I just rub it in. Wait till you see. Look at that. That's a lot of color for one little dot. And then I just tap my fingers and tap it, you know, onto my upper cheeks like that. It's just so pretty. And these are maybe 7 or $8. So I wanted to share that with you if you like this style of blush. The other thing I got from e.l.f. is their lip oil. And here's what that is. Now, that's sort of a dark color. It's pink. And I learned about this from my granddaughter, Austin, who was here last week. She likes to wear lip oils because she doesn't wear lipstick or lip liner or any of that. But you just put a little bit right in the middle of your lips. It feels so good. And if you have nothing on your lips, then it gives you just a faint hint of color. Now, it's not going to last all day or any length of time. But my goodness, does it feel good and very inexpensive. Again, it could be 6 or $7, but I'll list it below too if you want to take a look at all the pretty colors that they have. All right, now I'm really switching gears, and this involves gardening. Those of you that know me, you know I do not have a green thumb. I've never gardened in my life. Last summer, towards the end of summer and early fall, we decided we were going to try to do some gardening, just create a few little areas because I was inspired by watching a gardening channel. And the name of that channel is Linda Vodder. And I love watching her videos. And I mean, she's like a master gardener. She's a pro. I can't grow anything. Well, we started a project, like I said, early fall last year, and never got to complete it due to everything that was going on in our lives. So we're out there now again trying to resume that project and I promise you I will have a video. I started the video last October when we just started it but then we had to quit. So when we get it a little further along I'll make a video and show you what we've done. Hopefully I can get that done within the next month. But it's like a new kind of hobby for me. 
It's way out of my comfort zone. I have no skill. I, I just don't know anything about plants and flowers. I love to look at them and smell them, and I love all the colors, but I don't know the names of any of them. I don't know how to take care of them, but I'm learning. So I thought I should get a few gardening tools and supplies. So I picked up a pair of gardening gloves. I don't know if these are good quality. I got them at Walgreens, but I got them because of the colors. I just love the colors of them. So they've got, you know, the lavender and the pink and the white, a little bit of lime green. I just think they're so pretty. So I'll be wearing my gardening gloves and they have the little nubs on this side. Now as far as my like beginner's gardening tools that I heard about on Linda Vauder's channel, I picked up a set of three things and they're made by Centurion. And these of course are hedge clippers. I love to do that. Like I said, I don't know much about plants and flowers, but I love to trim. I love to trim bushes and shape them and clean them up. I don't know why I just do. And then I got a pair of these, came with it. This is a set of three. And I guess these cut like thick branches, you know, if you want to do that. I like that. And then it came with the little uh, pruners, I think these are called, to do some pruning. And I've used these on my topiary that I got last year. I don't even know if you've seen that yet because I got it for this gardening project that we never got to complete. So those are the tools I'll be using. And then I got these buckets. Now, all this is on Amazon. These were so inexpensive. I believe they were two for $14. And it looks like this, which looks, you know, just flat like a cake pan. But as you see, it all folds into itself. And it has a handle. They're plastic. And I just love them. I've used them for different things already because... You know, you're always looking for a bucket, whether you're cleaning in your house or picking up things in the yard or whatever. And when you uncollapse it, it here's the size of it. It's a nice size and easy to carry, not too heavy. And the way these work, you push on the bottom to expand it up. So let me see if I can do this where you can see it. See, it's coming up. I got a little more to go. There, I got it up. So, here's what it looks like. And it came in a two-pack in these two colors. And then you just set it down, push down on it, and it all collapses back into itself. So, they're easy to store in the garage because they're so flat, but you can pop them up. They're just very practical, and I love them. Another lifestyle favorite that I truly am enjoying is my little outdoor flag. Now, I have outdoor flags, garden flags. I have one in the front yard, one in the courtyard, and I think two in the backyard. Well, I'll insert a picture here of the one I just got, and it's of a cardinal. You know, cardinals just have a special meaning to me. Many people believe that when you're visited by a cardinal, you're visited by a loved one that has passed on. And I do believe that too. I've talked about it before. Well, I'm telling you, as hard as this may seem to believe, I am visited by cardinals every single day. Yes, every day. They are on top of our car sometimes. 
Sometimes they're on the edge of the roof. They're always in the back when I'm on the back patio. I'll insert a couple pictures because I always try to take a picture. Now, a couple years ago, probably four years ago, or five years ago, I would see them sitting on my window sill. If I was in the living room, there would be a cardinal just like looking in the window. And I just thought that was amazing. And then if I would get up and leave the living room and go back to my bathroom, I have uh, two windows in there that are set up pretty high. The cardinal would be on that windowsill. I mean, did it follow me from the living room to the bathroom? And how did it know that's where I was going? I cannot explain it. I knew without a shadow of a doubt that it was my dad. And to this day, I am visited by a cardinal, sometimes two, sometimes three together. So I like to believe it's my dad, my ma, and or my sister. Does anybody else believe in that or is it just me? I know a few of you believe in it because I've talked about it before. And my last lifestyle item that I want to show you is a gift. I was so surprised. My son, Sean, and his wife, Amanda, were shopping. And I believe they were at DSW Shoes. Well, Amanda texted me and said, Oh my gosh, we walk by these boots and they just scream you. They are so you. And she sent me a picture. And I thought, oh my, they are me. But they were expensive. They're from Betsy Johnson. And DSW Warehouse, I don't know, or shoe store, whatever it's called, maybe they're expensive because they were $149. And so I tried to find them on Amazon, and I did. And they were $94. But my daughter-in-law, Amanda, went to the Betsy Johnson website and found them for even less. So they bought them for me. Oh, I have to show you. Now, these aren't going to be for everybody. But for a cowgirl boot-wearing person like me, you know this is me. Look at these. Look at the sparkles. I'll try to put it close to the camera. They are so sparkly and they're silver. And if you can see up close, you can see a little bit of pink and light blue. I love the seam down the middle here. And there's a seam down the back. And a zipper here. And... The bottom is turquoise, and look at that heel. That is the perfect heel for me. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. And you know I wear boots like these, cowgirl boots or booties, whatever you want to call them, every day, every season of the year, all through the summer. I wear them with shorts, dresses, skirts, pants. I don't care what it is. So these will be on my feet a lot. Maybe for Friday's video, I'll make it a Fashion Friday video and style these boots. What I really want is like a sparkly silver, like cami or tank top. I have not been able to find one, but... I don't care. It doesn't have to be that color. I'll wear these with everything. So I'll see if I can put together a Fashion Friday video styling these new beautiful boots. I do want to tell you that they ordered me an eight and a half, which 
is fine in a shoe. Sometimes I can wear that in a boot. Depends on the style. Sometimes I go up a half a size. Because I'm in my boots all day long, I want them to be comfortable. Well, they were so small, I couldn't even get them on. I squeezed one foot in, and then I couldn't get it off. And I literally had to lay on the bed, and Dave had to pull it off of me. So, I think these are made in China, and their sizing is different. So, if you're interested in something like this, go up a whole size. I had to go up to a nine and a half. I've never worn a nine and a half, but now they fit perfect. Well, those are my latest lifestyle finds that I'm truly enjoying, and I would recommend all of them. They have helped me out a lot and they're going to help me out especially my gardening tools when I get back out there and give it another go. So let me know what is a lifestyle favorite of yours. Maybe something recent that you got that you discovered that you don't normally buy or use. You just gave it a try and it just really worked out for you. I'd love to know that in the comments section. Well, now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today are some ideas for your garden for everyday living. Plant three rows of peas. Peace of mind, peace of heart, peace of soul. Plant four rows of squash. Squash gossip, squash indifference, squash grumbling, squash selfishness. Plant four rows of lettuce. Let us be faithful, let us be kind, let us be patient. Let us really love one another. In our garden, we must have time. T-H-Y-M-E. Time for each other. Time for family. Time for friends. Water freely with patience and cultivate with love. There is much fruit in your garden because you reap what you sow. How true is that? We do reap what we sow. And we need to give to people all that we have to give. Our kindness, our time, our patience, our love, our care, our concern. So often we get caught up in our own lives and what's going on that we just don't take the time to think about others. We're so focused on our own problems or situations. But you know what? Someone always has it worse. Your problems will seem so small, so minute to something you may hear from someone else. We have no idea what other people are going through, how much they're suffering, how much they're struggling how lonely they feel, how unloved, unwanted, and unworthy they feel. We have to keep that in mind to lift others up. Just by saying hello to someone when you're out in public, by offering a smile, by doing a deed of kindness in the smallest way, can really make a difference in someone else's life. So even though my video was a little bit about gardening and, you know, when we plant beautiful flowers, oh my goodness, the beauty of them can just take your breath away. All the colors, the smells, the visual you get when you look at all planted flowers. Well, we also need to plant that beauty 
in the people that we come in contact with. Flowers are a beautiful reminder of our glorious God. But we can be a reminder of our Heavenly Father as well by showing our beauty, by showing growth in how we treat others, by all the things I mentioned that we have to offer others to make their day brighter. Let's all go out today and shine our light on anybody we come in contact with. Just do the smallest thing. You may never know what it did for them, but I can promise you, you will give them hope and you will encourage them and you will lift them up. People have done it for you. People have done it for me. Let's go out and do it for someone else. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya. Thank you.